Hey everyone, this is Hans with Bonafide Fishing. I have the RVR119 with me today. I'm out here on the French Broad River and I'm about to get on the water and show you guys a little bit more about how the hull works and how you can take advantage of it when you're fishing moving water and current. So I want to talk about initial stability and secondary stability in the RVR. The initial stability is where you'll feel when you sit down in the RVR just a little bit of movement in that boat. And what that does is it allows you to move it over onto secondary stability. The secondary stability is when you actually push the boat over onto its capacity. So it's actually pushing back against you and you can feel that outer edge. You're leaning to the side of the boat and it's pushing back. That's secondary stability. That's what's really important for maneuvering rivers. And that's what we've uh, been able to show you today. So now I want to talk about the drop skeg. We've talked about how great it is for tracking on flat water. It's also great out here on the river. I can use it for keeping the bow oriented upstream by keeping the skeg down. It acts as a weather vane for that. And then I can also raise it up. It causes the boat to feel nice and loose so I can move, maneuver it around and take those wide sweep strokes and reposition the boat or peel out of an eddy or catch an eddy with it. Okay, so another quick tip about the drop skeg is that when you put the skeg down, so I'm gonna flip it forward, and you put the skeg down, when you move the, bo the boat into oncoming water, that skeg is gonna act like a weather vane and it's gonna allow the boat to stay facing upstream longer. This is great for when you're trying to drift a bank and you wanna maintain position. So now let's talk about catching eddies and moving around the river. The RVR is built with more secondary stability and that secondary stability is what you need to have more confidence in navigating the river. When you're gonna catch an eddy, you're looking for that calm water that's usually gonna be sitting behind a rock and you can see the, the flow going by it and you're gonna use the RVR's position and the secondary stability to drive the boat into that calm water, keeping it flat, once you feel the boat hit the calm water, then you're gonna lean into that turn and let it come around. And then when you wanna peel out of an eddy, what you wanna do is have your boat facing upstream and slightly out in towards the current. As you paddle up into the current, the current is gonna turn your boat and you just wanna make sure you have your boat braced downstream so the upside edge is allowing the current to slide underneath it and the current will turn your boat for you and pivot you around and then face you downstream. So moving on to the bow wedge move that we showed out on the water, you just want to use the flat spot on the bow of the, the keel of the RVR and you're going to find a submerged log or a rock, something you can get the boat to run up onto and stick long enough that you're going to be able to take a few more casts. So the last thing I want to talk about is the mobility of the RVR. I always keep a drag strap with me uh, on the boat when I'm in rivers. So if I get to a spot on the river, let's say that I can't paddle further up very easily, um, and I need to go up over a, a rock shoals, I can, I can quickly jump out of the boat, drag the boat up over the shoals, push it into the calmer water that's above, and jump back in and keep on going. So another reason I keep a drag strap on my boat is simply to get the boat from my car to the river and back. The RVR is light enough that usually once I get it on the ground, it's an easy drag down to the river, and a pull up the bank and I can get it right back to the car with just the drag strap. I want to say that this is not a river safety video. There are a lot of great tutorials on that. Please make sure you're familiar with river safety before you get on the river. If you want more information about the RVR119, please go to bonafidefishing.com and I will see you out there on your next big adventure.